Hello everyone, today we are going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys Blue Beetle from the brand new movie. So here I have, I don't know if this is the Babel Ready one, I don't know what it's called, um, it's just Blue Beetle. But there are two versions out, this one's the one with like all the weapons, so he doesn't have the wings, and then the hands I think is the difference. So we're going to open this thing right up and get right into it. But before we do that, let's just take a look at the box. You got Blue Beetle on the side. You got nothing on that side. Got some cool art fit on the back. Um, like the little QR code thing. I didn't know that there was an app for it until now. Uh, then you get the movie logo, which has the spot varnish. So yeah, let's get this thing open. And here he is out of the packaging. Um, I think... I think it's one of McFarland's best. The sculpt, the paint, the detail, it's all there, and I think it looks great. I have a few issues with it, just looking at it right out of the box. Um, I feel like his arms are a little too long. I don't know. It could just be me, but I don't know. They look a little long. Um, I'm sure once he's posed with bent arms, it looks fine. But yeah, this guy comes with quite a few accessories, so let's go over that, and then we'll take a closer look at the figure. And here are all of the accessories to him. He also comes with, of course, the little card that all McFarland figures come with. And there's that. If you want to pause it to read it, go ahead. Um, and then, obviously, the McFarland DC stand. We've seen this a million times. I don't need to show that. But just going off of here with accessories, we got the little arm hand cannon, which I feel like they could have put paint there. I don't know, but that looks great. Um, the sword also looks great. And then he comes with these two, like, disc things. I don't really know what these do. I don't know if he's supposed to hold them, but we'll figure that out. And then uh, McFarlane. Making us have to buy two figures to get all the accessories, because the other one comes with like the wings, the wing jetpack, I don't know what you call it, um, then all the hands, and I think he comes with something else. But yeah, that stinks that you have to buy two to get alternate hands and the back accessory. So that's kind of disappointing, but that's McFarland, they always do that. So now that that's out of the way, we can take a closer look at the figure here. And this guy looks great. Like, just the amount of detail he has, I think he looks awesome. Normally, McFarlane figures, they look great, just the articulation isn't the best. Um, so we can go over articulation in a minute, but I just wanted to show off all the nice detail here. You can see the beetle on the back. It's got the whatever you call it, I don't know. Um... But yeah, obviously he has the pins, which is disappointing, but I have to live with it. Um, there are the feet. Just one kind of issue before we get into articulation, just with the ankles. Now, they're not loose, which is great. McFarlane had that issue for a while, but they only move certain ways, so it's kind of hard to get them to balance. And then, I don't know if you can see on camera, there's a cut there, and it's not metallic. Like, the feet are metallic, the shins are metallic, but this little piece here isn't, so that looks really odd. I don't know if that's a QC issue on mine, or if he's just like that, but that is a little odd. And I'm not the biggest fan of it. And then, when I pulled him right out of the box, he had this weird, like, slippery kind of feeling on his chest. I was able to wipe it off, but I'm not too sure what it was. So now, I guess we're just going to go right into articulation. So, head goes up that far. Pretty decent. And then goes down. Not really at all. I guess if I were to get the other one, I'd put a head mod on one so he could, like, fly. But not hugely worried about that. He's got the butterfly joints on both arms. Arms go up that high, but the shoulder pad there will get warped very easily. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, arms move full 360, double-jointed elbows. And then the hand is on a ball peg. Even that looks kind of odd. I know they're trying to match, like, the texture of everything, but it still looks just a little odd. Um, he does have a nice ball peg. He has two, actually, so he can 
did some really good bends. Not that that's realistic at all. But you can lunge forward and back very well with this. I don't know if you can see, there's one there, and then there's one here too. So that allows some very good articulation. Um, let's go out that far, about that far back. Um, double jointed knees that are really tight. I can't, yeah, there you go. It's really tight. Um, one of my other big problems with McFarlane is the no thigh cut. I know like a lot of import brands and stuff don't have it, but I just like it. I don't know. Uh, feet go like that, just like I showed earlier. They spin around, do all that. Got the toe articulation. It's very good. And yeah, I think that's about it for the articulation. But I just love how this guy looks. He actually makes me want to get the other version to have all the accessories. There's not a lot of marbling going on. Um, eh, there's a little at the head, but <clears throat> overall, there's not much compared to like Marvel Legends. There's phew, that Iron Man. Um, yeah, I think he's a great figure. I recommend him at this price point for McFarlane, $19.99. I think it's awesome. So I'm just going to show him with his accessories because I just realized I've not done that. Let's get to that. So here he is with the sword. I think he looks great. I, just going back a little, I think he's the best Jaime Reyes Blue Beetle on the market that you can get. I can't wait to see if like Mayfax or SH Figuarts or some brand like that does one because that would be awesome. Um, and then there's also that comic, the Ted Cord Blue Beetle, which also looks great. So I think McFarlane has the Blue Beetle's nail. And I really wish I knew what these little disc things were so I could put them on the figure properly because I tried to get them on the hands and they just wouldn't come on. So I definitely know that that's not what their purpose is. Um, please let me know. I don't know. I haven't seen the movie yet. I don't know what they're supposed to do. And then for this last accessory here, um, I think you do have to remove one of the hands if they won't come off to port it. That doesn't go on. How? I'm sorry. Why won't this focus? Focus, thank you. I don't know how this is supposed to go on. How do you put it in? Huh? Am I doing something wrong here? Okay, I guess this isn't going to go in. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to port that on. Cause you can't you put the hand in it? No, it doesn't work. Uh, how, how do you... Uh, um, okay, I don't know how to do this. So we're just going to cut to the next clip. And here he is next to the Marvel Legends Renew Your Vows Spider-Man. This is my only, really, I have a couple other McFarlane figures, but they're not really ones to compare it to, so this is going to be my only size comparison. So yeah, he's bigger, obviously. I'm sure you can make a mod to make him 6-inch six six inch scale, because the proportions are about the same. So I'm sure you can, like, cut off some of the leg or something, but I don't really want to do that, so I'm not going to do that. Um, so yeah. That is my only size comparison for this video, so let's go to, let's wrap this up. So that concludes it for this video. I definitely think this is one of McFarlane's stronger releases, and I mean, I don't, I don't really have any, but I think this might be one of the best releases from them for the year. I definitely want to pick up the other one to have the other accessories to go with it, so I probably won't make a video on that. I'll do a short. And I'll have pictures up on my Instagram, so be sure to go follow that same username. And yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.